Hey, good evening, folks. Thank you for coming back to another video, another Tony Montana video. Uh, this time, I just wanted to um, first apologize for not making videos. I've been very busy at work, and work comes first. Well, I wanted to warm up again doing videos and talk about this quickly, uh, basically about... Uh, Breedings, I'm uh, not breedings, uh, um, litters that you have puppies and you see on, on videos sometimes you see videos of puppies being really aggressive towards each other, really, very like hot, I guess you'll call it. And uh, sometimes you don't see what happened before that, you know, and sometimes you don't um, recognize uh, you can't because uh, you see what you see and, and you don't see what happened before. What do I mean by that? Mama, get down. Down. Oh, I got. Hold on. Oh, okay, I thought maybe she had licked it. So, um, what I mean, what, what I mean by this is, um, you know, sometimes I've, I've seen videos. I've seen uh, video of people with little puppies, like you have them sometimes in in the uh, open cage, like a circular cage, that the those pens, and um, I've seen this, and I don't agree with it. I'm probably you, you guys probably seen this from one person or another, that they probably, they'll have all the puppies together in a circle here, and they'll grab one puppy and smash him on, onto another un incoming puppy, or uh, make them like that, or make them kind of like rough each other up, forcefully, to uh, uh, um, encourage them to go angry, to become angry, or become aggressive to each other. Um, and sometimes you'll see them, uh, a person, pinching one of those, for example, or grab him, you know, he's a big dog, but he, like that, well, so that the dog will get upset, you know, and hopefully take it on the next dog that he finds or the adjacent puppy that he finds or it finds there. You know, I find this wrong. I find this wrong, not, not just in the obvious reason of, of messing with puppies that way, um, but I'd, I'd talk to you more into the, you know, I guess I guess a lot of you guys want to see the um, usefulness of saying no, it's wrong. So the usefulness of this, uh, why it's wrong, is because first it creates it, it creates it, uh, it action in the dog that is not natural, it's not organic. You're producing this. It's not in the dog. You're you're producing this. Maybe the dog would have done it itself. Maybe at one point the dog would be just the way you want him. But because you're doing this, you're become you're making the whole process so much you know worse, or much harder, because now you're you're you know you're conditioning the the puppy from that age, let's say five weeks, uh, that you know any time it gets into any. Uh, near any other dog or any, you know, animal like that, it will have to act a certain way because that's it's what's being taught from get-go, conditioned, you know? And, and that's not really what we're looking for. We're not looking for conditioned mentally dogs. We're looking for dogs that are naturally looking uh, for that, um, you know, like that um, prey, see, see other animals as prey, even other dogs, even some, at the one point... Uh, uh, you know, a little bit. Uh, and sometimes you don't see it as that early. And that's okay. Because they're puppies. You know, and, and you, it, you shouldn't be expected a puppy to act like a grown dog when they're puppies. But I, I do think that it's wrong that um, you're, 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 uh, you're creating an environment that the dog has to react a certain way. And then you, you, your whole perspective on the dogs your whole thing that you should be sitting and watching goes out the window because you're not no longer be watching at, at let's say eight weeks or nine weeks if you started this at five weeks by the ninth week these dogs are going at it at each other a lot of times uh, and some of the dogs that really are cold dogs certainly would not show that well, obviously will be the one being a bully but you're not really you know, you know, you're not really uh, seeing what their true personality is through genetics uh, is screaming to do or screaming to uh, act upon because you're. This is the only thing they've you know you condition and I, I, I'll twist it and put it in human way in human terms. 
Imagine you and me and a couple of guys. We're like five years old, and we're like in, a, in in an environment that grown people are. Every time we cross each other, they're bumping into, make us bump into each other at five years old. And sometimes they grab our hands and punch you or punch me with their hand, and then entice, Ooh, <laughs> come on, hit them back, hit them back, you know. And, and and then we grow up that way. And now by the time we're like fourteen or twelve. You know, by that time, we don't have to wait for it. We, every time I see you, you we, I'm ready for you. I'm, and you're ready for me, you know, if I haven't kicked your ass by then, you know, or you haven't kicked my butt, you know. So you're not seeing how we normally would be as, a, as internally, genetically, how inclined would have been to do that naturally. And that's what I see and that's what I think about people that, are pushing do, pushing puppies into each other and, and or you know uh pinching them you know uh just to get them in riled up and and angry and, and keep them that way no i think it's wrong it's completely wrong um let me find no tell me what you think about that you know and this is tony montana i'll be making more videos pretty soon peace